Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome back to Cash Talks Football, where we break down all the goals scored in the Premier League. And today we're you doing Everton against Bournemouth, and we're just going to talk about how simple it is if you just cross the ball in the box. This game is an advert for if you cross the ball into the box, good things happen. Uh, especially nowadays in the Premier League, where the defending is getting worse and worse every single season. They just can't deal with simple balls in, or dealing with headers, and all sorts of stuff. If you want to score goals in the Premier League, just put balls into the box. And yes, there's some good quality balls, but sometimes you can just put a bad ball in, which we're about to see in a minute, and then something happens and you can score from it. So let's just move this forward ever so slightly, and we know what's going to happen. As soon as we do it, Guy's got his hand up. What's going to happen? If you watch my channel before, you're going to know in the next five seconds, someone is going to score in the Premier League because someone's got their arm up trying to cover a space instead of actually trying to win the game of f football right now he needs to pressure this ball as fast as he can not worry about the space behind him that's somebody else's job so what you would be clashing yourself is point or whatever there's a certain terminology that each team uses most of my teams would always use point so i've got point i'm on the ball i'm going there and everyone else now has to back you up you don't tell the people behind you to back you up they know that automatically. But you have to put pressure on the ball. And he doesn't. So as he's too busy telling someone else what to do, do you see that? Is Now he's got to suddenly start to run because he's completely and utterly nowhere near this guy because this guy's first touch is taking him away from the space that he thought he was going to. And now he's just crossing the ball. Now he's panicking because, well, he was too busy pointing his arm and not actually trying to get, get to the football. I want you to watch this as well because this is very interesting. This guy's not trying to score a goal. He's just knocking it down to his teammate. And this guy here does a really, really good job of waiting for the ball to settle before he gets his strike away. So it's not necessarily, you know, the ball in has to be, oh, I'm trying to score on goal. It can just be simply bring the ball down, pass it to someone else, and they kick it into the net box. And that's exactly what happens here. Bournemouth do have enough players around to deal with it. But because the game of football has been so sort of regimented, if this is how we're playing into the channels, this is how you're going to expect a ball in, um, you know, to come across. Simple defending and clearing a ball like this, which he can do. He just needs to poke his knee on it, get the ball away from that guy. He doesn't. So it ends up falling right here. Dosh takes a touch. Sorry, takes a touch. As it bounces up, he lets it settle. It's really, really key that he's got the patience and the time to let this ball come down before he strikes it. Watch, dush. There we go. Clean strike into the net box. Gets himself a goal. Let's get on to the next one. So this is um, just a sequence of mad mistakes. Now in football, when players run with the ball, good things happen. I also want you to watch this player doesn't react to this space opening up here you can completely see that because the um, Everton players are running with the ball running forward everyone from Bournemouth is now having to react and do something different he doesn't react he just stands there because I'm doing my position and what ends up happening is watch, watch as this goes through bump, bump, bump. he's worried about the player behind him and you can still see this gap here but more and more uh, what's called a chaos football or bundle football where there's no real passes being involved people are just running and tackling and they're winning the rebound which he does here and then trying to drive forward again when you have that chaos there is no shape and structure so you you can see where everybody is one guy's on the floor another guy's on the floor but you can see that gap here because this is where they'll score this is what happens in football if that gap is um it just keeps staying there it might move and shift down or up or down the field but you've got to plug that gap straight away this guy has to start moving over now what that will mean is oh yeah they might pass the ball out wide to their player here fine you can go out and cover that player there but you want to cover the gap in the middle of the goal you really do that's where he needs to move to you don't necessarily worry about this player here because if the ball goes out to him you'll still have time to get back over there okay if the ball comes through the middle you won't have time because it's in the middle and they'll score if it goes out wide well you can help force them out wide it's completely different out wide than it is in the middle here there was a little bit more of a bundle not much to really uh, write home about but now you're at the position where you've got a bunch of Everton players and you can see that gap he still hasn't moved he's come over just a little bit and as they start to run forward the run happens oh you know that gap i was telling you about earlier guess where the ball's got played through yes see if the ball goes out over here the keeper can still shut the angle down because he's so far wide if the ball comes through the middle of the goal right in the middle here it's a problem he can easily easily get his shot away and the target is right in front of him out here the target's off to the side it's a difficult shot here it's not he needed to close the gap he didn't bother and they end up getting themselves a nice little goal 
let's get on to the next one because uh, it's more crossing. There's a lot more crossing coming up. Overall, this is just poor play from Everton, and I'm going to show you and break it down for you right now. One runner here, okay, and one pass takes one, two, three, four players out of the game. These two players can't really track this runner because they're not goal side of him. It has to be this guy's job here. He has to go with the runner. You have to come in and cut in and fill that gap there. They should basically know. This is simple stuff. They should know this. All right. Yeah, you've got an overload on the back post, but that really shouldn't be a problem if you've got pressure on the ball. Remember, that's the key. If you don't have pressure on the ball, these players become a problem. Pressure on the ball, no problem. No pressure on the ball. These were maybe even three players problem because then they can pick out the delivery and you all know that that's basic football all these defenders know that so that changes your mindset of what's happening right now is he really worried about these two players no there's light pressure not real pressure light pressure on the ball so when this watch this run here we're going to play this forward just a little bit blah 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 blah, blah. do you see that like, this guy carries on running with him well, where are you running to you're not you're nowhere near him well, okay, come and win the ball then. Well, he doesn't really do that because he can't. So this pass is going to take all of these players out of the equation. If this guy here goes and runs with him early, I know he's trying to play him offside. That's what he's really trying to do. But he hasn't realized this is a deep run. There's a difference. The timing of the deep run and the pass is much, much easier when he starts his run back here. If he's starting his run here, it's much easier to get him offside because this guy might not see it and the pass might not be in time. It isn't. It's a deep lining run. It's really easy. He doesn't read it. And watch what ends up happening here. Move this on. Da, 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 da. Look, now, one, two, three. They're all still trying to run after over here. And he should have been there miles, miles earlier. Remember what I said? Pressure on the ball. No problem. No pressure on the ball. Problem. Hmm. And actually, it is a decent quality ball in. But I also believe the keeper can cut this cross out as well. It is a quality cross. It is an okay finish. But that there is set up the whole goal. The cross and finish and the poor defending on the back post are issues, but it all comes down to not being able to change, interchange. There's four of you, four, and interchange and defend against two players. One run, beat all of you. Look, when he rips this ball in, no one's anywhere near him. Absolutely nowhere near him. He's nowhere near his guy on the back post here. Absolutely nowhere near him. By the way, that's it might as well be 10 miles in the Premier League. That's how far apart that is. Uh, and in comes this cross. Decent cross. Wash, let's watch it. Dosh, bang. Let me see, go from the other angle because I think, I think there's this one. Might be another one where I think Jordan Pickford could have easily, easily pushed that ball away. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. Pickford's not even looking at the ball here. He's, you can see he's looking at who's going to actually take the ball into goal. Do you see that? It's completely bounced past him. If he was actually keeping his eye on the ball there, he would have got rid of that and he didn't. He's too busy seeing who's going to tap it in on the back post instead of keeping his eye on the ball because he's close enough there. I know he's got little dinosaur hands. He might be able to outstretch stretch and push that away. His focus is completely on the guy on the back post. But let's jump on to the next goal. Oh, look. Can we see it? Someone's got their arm up telling somebody what to do in the Premier League. Can anyone guess what's about to happen in the next five seconds? Oh, it's like we say it every single week. Now, th there's a couple of culprits here. First off, this isn't good enough really defending here. He's too tight to him. He's letting him get down the byline a little bit too quickly. But you can accept that sometimes because sometimes you'll be beaten on the outside. Sometimes the other player is better than you. That's fine. But what isn't acceptable is when you're supposed to be a midfielder tracking their midfielder who's you're not goal side of and he gets to run in free and score a goal. That's unacceptable because all you need to do is run with him. That's it. Here, it's pace and a little bit of trickery. Here, it's laziness because he's not sprinting. He's not like going, on, I'm Hussein Bolt putting on the afterburners. Look, blah, blah, blah. He's just jogging and you're being lazy. All of a sudden, you can see the space that he's got in the center of the box here because you haven't gone with him and you were close enough and you were there. You just didn't bother. Everybody else thinks it's going in, uh, you know, to this little chappy here. He was anyway because he had his little hand up. All of a sudden, the ball comes across. And look, he's going to head the ball into the goal. The one guy who's just made a late run into the box and his midfielder didn't follow him. Here's a clue. If you follow your runners, you can challenge for the ball. Challenging for the ball doesn't mean you're going to win it, but it means they're going to have a harder time doing it. And he doesn't bother to do that. All of a sudden, little challenge, sorry, no challenge. And he just heads it into the net box. Other than that, let's get on to the next goal. 
Oh my God, can anyone guess what's about to happen? Have a look at this defender here. He's got his arm up, telling somebody to mark this guy here. Guess what? No one's going to mark him. And guess what's going to happen in the next five seconds? I think we've covered this before in another video. Oh, every video we seem to do. Stop telling people what to do. You can see this guy's making a run here. You have to deal with this. Now, normally I would say you have to deal with a player in front of you defending. Yes, you do. You do. 100% true. But also, you can see that he's not going to be quite in front of you much longer. It's going to come into this guy's zone, and he's going to be able to mark him quite easily for you. So you're like, okay, and you're a little bit too far away from him anyway. You can drop and mark this player instead of going with the runner here. But let's see what happens as this ball comes in. As it drifts over, you can see, look, the runner goes right behind this Everton defender here. He doesn't even go with him. He leaves this guy completely nutly unmarked. And Dosh loses the game. That simple. Stop telling people what to do and take responsibility. Now, I also want to show you this centre-back, how this striker peeled away from him um, as, as the sort of play progressed, all right? Let's just go back and look. at It's right here where it starts. He starts drifting away. You can see him right there. He starts drifting away, and this guy gets suckered in by this run here and just leaves him unmarked. And there's no one close enough to help him cover. Absolutely nobody. And he knows this guy's going towards this front post here. He can see that run. He can get his teammate to help him there. And he can just mark this player. 1v1, 1v1. Good to go. Yeah, if we lose, we lose. But at least we're marking everybody. And no one's free at the back post. Well, or you can raise your hand and tell someone else to mark them that isn't there. And you can lose the game. Everton are going to struggle this season. Other than that, I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football.